This is an important and pivotal time in the history of the National Guard. We have never been busier or more visible, and our missions have never been more complex or important. What we do now and what we do next will ultimately shape our nation's future. The National Guard has been on the front lines of the COVID-19 pandemic response. In every state, territory, and the District of Columbia, Guard members are helping their communities fight this invisible enemy. Our National Guard responded to civil unrest in several states and the District of Columbia. As part of a national call for justice and racial equality, our soldiers and airmen were there to protect our First Amendment rights and preserve public safety in the communities where we live. The great value the National Guard brings is they are in our 2,800 communities across the nation every day. They're usually the closest, and we consider them the department's first responder for anything that occurs. Our citizen soldiers and airmen responded to these and other events in the homeland while simultaneously meeting all overseas deployment requirements in support of combatant commands and the National Defense Strategy. Number Mike Kilo, one our state zero, partnership seven. program, we have partnerships with 89 nations around the globe. And it not only helps with our combatant commanders, but also with our National Guard, because it gives them the opportunity to train with allies and partners and develop long-term relationships. What makes this possible has not changed since the founding of our National Guard in 1636 and that is the incredible men and women in our formations. They balance their military careers, civilian careers, and their families, and know the sacrifices they must make so we can live true to our motto. Always ready, always there.